Welcome to BeamNG.Drive with YBR. See, I, I always do the intros weird and I know it. It's just like, I, I feel like I'm reading a script almost. It's like, I, I need to say this because that's what the video's for and it's a proper thing to kind of do something like that. And I, it always feels weird. Like, it always feels unnatural. Now I'm just spewing whatever comes out my mouth and it's so much easier. Like, right now I could say, I have a car based on a car that's based on a car that's based on a car. And to me, that almost makes sense. Uh, I'll explain exactly what that means because it makes way more sense once I explain it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the Abisu Corvette and that's what I call it sometimes, just because I'm lazy, instead of Covet. Corvette, just, you know, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, the Ibisu Covet Corvette, and it comes with the game when you get the game. So this is a car that everybody has, and what it is, it's the base car that the mod I'm going to show you was based off of. So what they did is they took this car, and they were inspired by Mighty Car Mods for when they had their season finale where they had a... Um, it was like budget street cred, I think it was called, where they did all kinds of stupid things to the to a car that were really dumb actually, but it was funny to watch. And but anyways, it was the that inspired the uh, the person who made the mod. And what they did is they took the blue car you just saw and made it look like the car that Mighty Car Mods uh, ended up making. So there it is, and it's not just a skin. Like if it was just a skin, I normally wouldn't do a video for it, just because I usually just say eh. Uh, you know, it's not something that's really that interesting, but this is actually more than a skin. If you notice, that rear bumper is, um... Oh, goodness, I just... Okay. Um, well, now you can't even see the rear bumper. That was smart. Uh, anyways, if you look at the rear bumper, though, you'll see that it is not a stock shape. It, like, extends out far more. And if you look at the wheels, the arches, yeah, those are, like, those plastic ones you stick on. Yeah, the tires are different, I think, and the all that too as well. Bumper, front bumper is different, it kind of just sticks out a bunch too, so I guess when you crash you'll get hurt as bad or something. No, but it's, what I'm saying though is it's not just a skin, it actually has other things done to it, you know, it has, it has, oh goodness, we can't go up that, we didn't have enough momentum. But it has different rims and wheels and trim and uh, bumpers and all that and stuff. And I think it's lowered as well. So it has a bunch of changes to it, besides the texture, which means I want to do a video for it. And we are, except this thing is not driving very well anymore. That's okay, we'll just go on the dirt. See we can't, we're trying to go and just it's just we're sliding all over the place. So the colors of the car though are basically a exact duplication of the ones that you see in the video if you looked up the video at Mighty Car Mods made. Like it has that really weird decoupage look on the bump, the front fenders and the rust look everywhere else. Just like uh, their car ended up looking. And this is annoying to drive so I want a fresh car. There we are. So I don't think this thing can even make this if you give it full speed. I don't think it'll make it. That's kind of bad. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness, it barely makes it up. I mean, a success is a success, but sheesh, that was close. Barely makes it up that. And the extended bumper doesn't help. Car is broke. 100% broke. Got a fresh one right here. So performance-wise, it is slow. It's not even... um. The one you start with, at least, is not even like as fast as the Rally Edition or whatever. It's a slow edition, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm trying to drive and pull up a Mini at the same time. That's not gonna work. If I use the Rally Edition, though, I don't think it has wheels, which means I have to actually put effort into making it work. Yeah, see, I think it's the uh, the default one is the one that has. Oops, not the default. That one, the one above default, is the one that has the wheels. See, and since I'm lazy, I'm just gonna use that one. Because performance-wise, it's all the same as the stock car. The interesting things are the the looks. You know, it's it looks different. It has unique fenders that you should bump into things and see how they perform. You know, maybe flip it over a couple of times accidentally and try to flip it up right and fail at doing that a couple dozen times. Come on! Oh, there we go. And it's broken, anyways. Well, there's a fender. It's uh, 
Oh, wait, that's not the fender, that's the hatch. I, I thought it was the fender for a second. Alright, so let's get a fresh car. Actually, let's just fly over here instead of driving. Let's just fly over here and then we'll throw it off a cliff. Wasn't that faster? Dunk. Oh no! When you drop the car from a height, the fake little wheel arts just fall off. Look, they're gone. They're on the floor now. <laughs> I think I made the car a hundred times more street cred. Because look at that. Look at that fitment right there. That's perfect. Sure, it doesn't work anymore, but that's okay. This cost of having a beautiful car. And down we go. That is not what I meant to do. So again, those little pieces fly off. Uh-oh, something's acting funky. Don't know where it went, but you saw some piece was flying weird. Looked like it actually fell off eventually. Oh, wait, there it is. That piece is flying weird. Look at it. It's like, woo, woo, woo. Oh, it stopped. See if you can see it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I don't know. Let's get a fresh car. Not that high up. Let's not flip it. I, st I wasn't even accelerating. I still managed to flip it. It's fine. This game, this car is like the perfect match for it, like this game because it looks like a dumpster. Or like a, a junkyard car, I mean, not dumpster. It looks like a junkyard car almost. The fake rust. Like, I mean, it's real rust in the video, but fake rust here, I guess, is something like that. Something like that. All these technicalities are weird. Like, do I reference it as is, as if it was the vehicle in the video, or the vehicle it is? I think the fender... Look at that! I like how the little... I like how the wheel parts are so poorly attached that the smallest anything makes them fall off like you're just gonna like just rolling down this and see what happens like yep like they just fly off they're gone I like that that's funny oh look at that the car still works sort of not really I mean if you're desperate it works oh we're in the mud Poor car. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Shouldn't have done this. Look at that piece, though. That is... It's like... It got absorbed. Look at that. How is it staying on me? Get off me. It's stuck on me somehow. It's weird. I've seen that happen with a lot of cars, though. I guess it's still drivable. Let's find a tree to crash it into. How how convenient. Now it is not drivable. Ooh, jeez. The tire is inside the car. Look, look at that. The tire, I mean, inside, like, the, the, wow. The cabin of the car. That really looks like an abandoned car right there, though. <laughs> that just looks, that's, that's kind of the, one of the things I really like about it. Is it just ends up kind of looking like an abandoned car because of the paint job it has. That's all a coincidence, really, more than anything. Because, like I said, it was modeled after something. After the uh, one they used. It's just it's a coincidental thing. Over the wall! Oh, goodness, that's not over the wall at all. Alright, so... I want to do one thing, though. Uh, it's going to probably break the colors of the car, I'm going to unfortunately say that right now. But I want to do a head-on collision between a stock one and that one and see if the bumper does anything at all to actually change the way things crash. I forget which one of these has two cars. One of these has like 82 cars, one has two cars. Hopefully I picked the one with two. All right, I did. Good. So we're going to get a stock Covet and then the street cred one, and we're going to do a head-on collision between the two. And see if that front bumper does any diff, like if it protects it anymore, just because I'm curious. Because it's fatter than the stock one. I can also use this to actually, you know, put them side by side and you can see for a fact that the bumpers are different. Like you look, okay, look at this bumper and look at that one. Do you see how this one sticks out a ton and that one sticks out only a little bit? Yeah. Hopefully you see that. Also, it has no license plate. And I think it's the same with the front. Yep. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, well, that one's way different visually. You can see 
like the whole um, the radiator, uh, the thing that the where the air would go into the radiator or whatever, cooling, blah blah blah, is different. I don't, I can't grill, grill. The grill is different. God, I couldn't think of that word. The grill on the front bumper, not the grill on the the the, the upper part, the lower one, different. Anyways, I want to do a head-on collision between these two. So we're gonna. I'm gonna drive this one. I'm gonna drive the street cred one because, man, I'm cool like that. This is the one I drive. So we'll set it right there. And we'll get the AI to drive this one. If we can. Let's see, put it right. Okay, go there. AI mode is chasing player. And let's see if it looks any different with a different bumper. Oh, I told you the colors would break. Alright, guess who kept the wheels because of the bumper? My car did. Therefore, this bumper makes it a better car. And yeah, the colors get all screwy because that's a glitch that happens with BMG all the time. If you have a car that's based on a car, it does that. Shush, you other car. They won't stop revving the engine. Weird. Thought I hit off. Ah. I guess I didn't hit off, did I? So, that is my conclusion. That front bumper is superior in collisions. How's the interior look? And from the interior, they're both pretty much the same. Alright, I just wanted to do that really bad. I don't know. I thought it'd be interesting. Let's we'll see if it um, happens twice. So, for reference, this one is the one that's stock. It, it is still stock actually it just has the paint follow like covering itself up and all crazy like look at the the, the, the the decoupaging thing is even on the front bumper and stuff it's weird that's weird anyways it doesn't matter we're gonna do another crash see if the same thing happens here alright that was a pretty fair crash their wheel is busted in. My wheel, I can still drive. Sort of. I still think I won. Well, I lost my door, though. It's hard to say. I can still drive, but I lost my door. They can't drive at all. I think my conclusion is still the same. That car is better. With all that, that fatter bumper, does make a difference. Very, very, very minimal difference, but it does make a difference. I want to throw it off a couple of cliffs and leap of death, and then we're good to go. Kind of a short video, but because it just adds a couple of parts, but I figured I could, uh, I just like the way it looks when it crashes, uh, mostly. It's just like, it looks like an abandoned car, and I like that. Well, that's annoying. The game seemed to have crashed, so now we're restarting it. And I don't remember what I was saying, too. I was like halfway through a sentence, I think, and then crashed. I'm like, oh, what was I saying? I'm, I'm trying to remember right now, and I just, I don't. I can't remember at all. So, whatever I was saying, that, that sentence has gone. Maybe I was talking about, I think I was just saying about how, like, I like this car, especially because of the way it looks when you, like, wreck it, because this looks so abandoned, and I like, I like that. So I think it'll just look like a, a ball of rusted metal at the end of this one. At least that's what I'm assuming will happen. If I can find it, there it is. Alright, so, I also gotta say, man, Australia has some weird standards for street cred. So that's what good street cred looks like in Australia, huh? You Australians are, whoa, everything fell off. Oh, ready, whoa. Oh, that's weird. Like, everything looks really rusty until you get it upside down. The bottom is just sparkling clean. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, it would never be sparkling clean. That's the part that gets filthy and rusted. Kicking off all the dirt and the salt from the, the, the snow and all that. That's what rusts out a car. And that's where the bottom would get it most. And the bottom is all shiny. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, unfortunate part is... I don't want to get to touch the water. It kind of messes up the whole abandoned car. Throwing off a cliff look because it's so shiny. Well, that was weird. You know, what, what am I hitting exactly? Is there something there? No? I don't know what I'm hitting. 
I can't get up. Okay, let's just try again then. I don't know what just happened at all, but we can keep trying it again anyways. But yeah, Australian street cred is weird. Rusted out and stuff, that's weird. In America, you put a big ass wing on it and make it have be really low. That's how you do street cred in the US. Yeah, that shininess ruins it. Oh man, it doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. I, I want to do something though. So that's Australian street cred. Let's see what American one looks like. American street cred would look like something like this. Let's just go to basic map. We have two cars available to us. So American would be, you have a stock car like this. Did I even check if the the parts work in this one? Like what their options are and stuff? I don't think I did. So this one, what else, what else can you do to it? Is there anything interesting? Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing there, nothing there. Nothing too interesting there. I think all the interesting stuff's already on it already. You can remove things though. I don't know why you would. But in America anyways, as I was saying, street cred would look like this. You would have your car, you'd be like, Screw this coilovers, I don't need none of that. And you would also say, same for the front coilovers, you don't need those. And then you put a big wing on it, and that's how you get street cred in the US. Something like that. Looks about right. Then whenever you try to accelerate, that's how fast you can go. That's full speed. But this is the wrong car anyway, so let's have a combination of the two. Put empty coilovers on this, and then take, and then it'll be a perfect car. Oh, wait a minute! Did I see what I thought I saw? Turbocharger stage one and equipped it. Perfect. That thing. Famous in every country, basically. Like you'd be famous in every country if you drove drove this. Mostly because you don't move very fast at all, and everybody hates you. That's okay. Because you get to. Because when you arrive, you look like this. Alright. I guess that'll do it. Look how slow we're going. Like, even a collision after this much accelerating, it's like, oof. It's like a oof, you know? What is that other car doing? Oh, it's still trying. <laughs> it's not going nowhere. Uh, anyways, that'll do it. Till next time, this is my VR. I'll see it.